So good evening everybody, let's just see if we are working everywhere, we are, we are live on Facebook and come on YouTube, catch up, catch up, oh I've got to watch some ads on YouTube, that's a pain in the neck, <laughs> skip, skip the ads, so good evening everybody, hi Carol, Paula, Joanne, Julie, Sandra, Kathleen, Janet, Margaret, Hope, Hi Hope, and Paula, so far, and Facebook, let's get this screen bigger so I can see what I'm actually doing, Hi Elaine, Debbie, Annette, so we'll hang on until everybody is here, I think you're going to like this card, Hi Zoe, Hi Christine, Hi Julie, Debbie, Mel, are you, are you home Mel? Caroline, Carol, Gwen, Tracy, Emma. <laughs> You're all starting to get on now. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Sue. Hi, Ellie. Right, everybody's starting to get on now. Do, do, do. So I'm going to drink my coffee whilst it's still hot. And I've got to tell... Oops. I've got a bit of glitter floating about in my coffee. Now, there's a surprise. I've not even done anything yet. Hi Jude, Maureen, Jackie, David. Do a doing a you're doing a quick looking. <laughs> Bless you. Hi Wendy. Hi Patricia. So let's take this screen off because it's getting on my nerves already. There we go. I'm using my new brushes tonight. Mm -hmm. I've got my old scabbies still in the still in my toolbox, but I thought let's try these new ones and see what they're like. Let's christen the new brushes and see how they perform <laughs> so zoe we've got the black background on just for you and everybody else who struggles to see on the brown one so until i get fed up of it moving around it's staying <laughs> hi Bev. hi jan hi patricia hi sue hi debbie hi to everybody i've not spoken to already hi saz hi Kay. Oh, bless you, darling. I hope you're feeling better soon. Hi, Wilbur. What are you doing on YouTube? Hi, Sharon. Oh, it's your first time here. I'll try and be gentle with you then. <laughs> it won't last. It won't last. So everybody's starting to drop in now, which is fabulous. So I hope you all had a lovely weekend. And hopefully you've all started receiving your lovely new dyes. Um, I know the girls have been working really hard at the shop to get everything out uh, as quickly as possible. So, oh, I still can't get rid of this. Who do I send this to to get it smoothed out? Hi, Ellen. Yeah, so hopefully you've all started. You, oh, what day is it today? It's Monday. So some of you might not get them till tomorrow, but I know that they've been posting them out as quick as they've been coming in, which is absolutely marvellous. We are blessed by good staff at the shop. So we are. Oh, Sharon says thank you. It's a new time. First time. So what we're going to do tonight is uh, a demo that, surprise, surprise, I didn't get time to do on TV. <laughs> what a shocker. And uh, I'll be 100% honest with you. This card was is meant to be a 7x7. Seven so it would have been a 7x7 for TV. And it might still be a 7x7 because I know a lot of you like that size. But you know me well enough to know that I've got an 8x8 base ready for it. <laughs> try putting your... Try putting your what? What's in heaven? Oh, Pam, I feel for you. Hi Jean, 
you need to ring Karen and pay for yours. You do because I'll be on, I'll be on the streets, David. If you don't phone up and pay for that order, hi Linda. <laughs> and it's too cold for men to be standing on street corners. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh in the oven put it in the oven really i might be scared mind you it's silicon so it's not gonna melt is it hi caroli hi bridget hi lane been playing with the new dyes all day oh that's brilliant i saw your post in the um in the group elaine looking forward to tonight thank you linda so am i hi tony welcome for the first time i'll tell you the same as sharon i'll try and be gentle for a for a while <laughs> i and you we've not started yet hi joan <laughs> your red light bulb <laughs> brilliant can't, it can't go in the oven it's just a countertop Matt. oh it's a good job you said that because i would have tried it <laughs> i'll get the heat gun on it when i get some time when i get some time i will I don't know when that will be, but um, I will try and find some time to iron it. I can put a tea towel over it, I think, and iron it. Anyway, so let's get this show on the road. Oh, my God, Rini, how are you? How are you, darling? Oh, I've missed you. Hi, Julia. Rita. Yeah, so uh, we're going to get cracking. So, as I mentioned, this is a demo that I should have done on TV. And surprise, surprise, I didn't get the, the time to do it. What a shocker. Dust the iron off, Bev says. Dust the iron off. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to excuse myself for that because there was a lot of talking on the shows. Uh, too much of a steamroller on it. Hi, Liz. With the oh, you've been you've been die cutting all weekend, so you've got a stash. That's well, you know that's what I do, Liz. Oh, oh, oh. Let me just grab these in. I I do loads and loads of die cuts for the things that I I know I'm going to use all the time. I I spend a bit of time just doing loads and loads, usually in white, and then I just keep them in tubs so that I've got a stash there. And then it just saves time. It just saves time when you come to make your projects. Um, I, I find it really useful to have all that. Sorry, I'm fidgeting about with my slippers. Uh, right, so this demo, like I say, is one that I didn't get time to do on TV. And it's a really, really pretty card. And I've changed it slightly. It wasn't going to be Shades of Grey uh, originally, but it is tonight. And I, I love grey and white anyway. I always think it looks really classy. So this, this is how it would be if it was a 7x7. Seven seven. So it's not going to stay a 7x7 seven seven because I, I feel like I've cheated myself when I do little dinky cards. Uh, you do those yourself, I am. <laughs> but this is this is how it is as a 7x7. As a seven seven. So it's just the base, a 7-inch square, and then a 6 and 3 quarter with diamond dazzle around the edge. So I've already forewarned you that I've done two extra layers so this will be an 8 by 8 but what we will do is we will make it as a 7 by 7 and then mount it onto the 8 by 8 so you can see the difference so it's, it's a bit of a personal preference thing of how much how, how big your card is and how much you want to do to it so it is going to be a clean and simple <laughs> you are funny Signal is buffering here. To get, uh, it's not here. It's fine here. It could just be where you are. Um, so we're going to work on that. And we are going to use the paints. So those of you that are new uh, may not know how much I love my chalky paints. It's one of my favouritest things that I've ever done. And if you haven't got any, please just treat yourself to a couple and it will transform... It will just transform your card making, your crafting, whether you do grey board, MDF, cardstock. These paints are amazing. And there are, well, and everybody else will tell you the same. I haven't got one shade of grey, literally or otherwise. <coughs> oh, I'm joking. You need to get some of these greys. 
<laughs> Hi, Shaz. 7x7 seven seven is your go-to size, is it, Julie? How interesting is that? See, you know I like big cars, but I think I just like big cars just because I can do more... I can do more embellishing, you know, that's my thing. Um, so we've got three new shades of grey in the in the latest release of the chalk paints. And I'm just going to turn them on the side. You can see how different these three greys are as well. So the one on the left, which I've called Dove Grey, is actually uh, like a bluey shade of grey. Um, the one in the middle, Urban Stone, is a true grey. It's like concrete. It's gorgeous. And then you've got rain cloud on in my on my right hand in my right hand. Yeah. We're gonna use two shades of these, and we're also gonna mix in with this some hi Tracy. We're also gonna mix in with this some of my silver metallic. So we're doing we're doing a two-tone. Let me just I can't you can't see that it's metallic. But if I just do this, I'm not gonna use dove grey because it's the odd one out. Dove grey is a grey in its own. But the other two, Urban Stone and Rain Cloud, work really, really well together. And that's what we're going to do. And then in the middle, we've got the metallic paint, the silver metallic. So we're going to deck, we're going to stencil and we're going to decorate these die cut flowers. So these are the, there's actually only one, uh, one big flower and a couple of little ones going on this card. These are the new ones, obviously. The Delightfully Dotty. So these are the Delightfully Dotty ones. And these are the ones with the debossed... Surprise, surprise. The debossed dots. So we're going to paint that. We're going to paint one of the tags. Uh, stencil one of the tags. And we're going to stencil the background. And this is... I was Well, if you saw the show I did with Leone, we were quite good, actually. We were quite well behaved. Uh, well, I say that, but my version of well behaved might not be the same as yours but i was talking to leone about how the the paints have transformed my crafting and i think for me it's because i can use them on cardstock now not all paints work particularly well on cardstock but mine do that is my chair creaking by the way hi edna hi ruth hi hazy babe uh, so, I'm, we are going to do a little bit of stenciling. Uh, hi, Jennifer. Watching while you're eating your dinner. I don't blame you. Clean and simple and in grey. Absolutely beautiful, Hope. You can't go wrong. And, you, I mean, we all know pink and grey is a lovely combination. So, you could replace what I'm going to do with the silver metallic with one of the pale pink paints. And that would give you a different, that would give you a different look as well. Uh, there's, there's just Martinets, I love that. Uh, there's just so much you can do with them. <coughs> Saz is telling me to remind you all about the challenge. Uh, <laughs> I'm dotty about the delightfully dotty flowers. Oh, thank you, Elaine. Oh, I don't know, Linda, I must have missed something. I've, I've literally not stopped for the last few days. Um... Anyway, yeah, get to my age and everything creeps. <laughs> so let's start with the actual stenciling of the background. So I've got two extra layers that are going in this card. You know that I like to have a minimum of four or five layers on my cards. You don't have to if you want to replicate this and make it make it a bit easier. So the, this one is just going to stay plain white. This one we are going to stencil just in the corner. So we're going to do this corner and that corner. And we are also going to do one of the borders. So there are two borders. Uh, one with a plain white and one that we're going to stencil. That is for my... I don't know what that's for. Why did I put that in? Why did I put that in? Let me just see my notes. Yeah, that's, we're not going to do that. They, that was my original notes for TV. Stencil and paints on the border, stamp in black, paint the flowers. We're not, we're doing more than that. This is the beauty of the live demos. I've got more time. I've got more time. Oh no, what a shame, Linda. Oh my word, what a start to the year, eh? 
Oh, I'll catch up afterwards. Waiting for your goodies to arrive. So you can have a go at the competition. Yeah, so uh, Saz has reminded me to ask... to rem Saz has reminded me to remind you all about the new monthly challenge over in the Facebook group. Uh, the layout challenge. So we changed this last February. It's a year since we did the last one. Uh, no, that's the sentiments going on the tag. So... Um, so basically, if you don't know, if you are a member in our group, you will have seen that I posted last week or whatever day it was, the new layout challenge. And it's basically a, just a loose layout that I've designed digitally that you have a go at making a card. And then we pop it all in the photo album. And then at the end of February, um, we choose a random number, bev numbers all the entries and... Um, we choose a random number and I give you a little prize. So it's, just, it's a bit of fun. It gets your mojo going. It's easy to follow the layout that I've designed. Uh, and it's just, it's just something that's extra in the group, a little bit of fun. Right, so we've got the stencils here. And I am going to move to one of the... Ooh, ooh, choices, choices, choices. I am going to do one of the uh, slimline ones. Which one? I've used them all so much now, it's time for some new ones. They've only been out a couple of months, but it's time for some new news. Which one? This is my this is my working set. So let me just get them all out. And then we'll decide. I'm not doing the mechanation because it's not a man's card. We're, we're putting flowers on it. So we've got three to choose from. Three to choose from. Let's have a look. I love them all. I love them all. Decisions, decisions. Let's have... Oh my God. I've used that one a lot. I've used that one a lot. So we'll use this one. Yeah, I know, Jean. It just got, it just got that people weren't entering, so uh, I got fed up of designing it and people not not having a go. Hi, Ruth. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Yeah, we're going for this one. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> that one is called. Uh, oh, it's not on any of these. Oh, 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 oh. That one is called. Extravagance. This one is called Extravagance. And the reason I've moved on to the uh, slimline one instead of the 6x6 is because the patterns are a little bit smaller. So the patterns, the designs are a little bit smaller. I'm buying the house next door to Furlough. But he's crafting buddy. You'd be welcome to, darling. I've got two big desks in here. <laughs> uh, yeah, the pattern's a bit smaller in the slimline ones. And we are literally just doing the corners. So I'm taking one design and we're going to come down like this and I'm going to do the same on the other side. So the two, the two greys, we're going to do both greys and then give it a little highlight with silver. So it really doesn't matter. So for anybody who hasn't seen these used before, it doesn't matter whether we go dark first and light over the top or light first and dark over the top, it doesn't matter because the light paints will go over the top of the dark ones. So just give them a shake up. Hi Cheryl. The, do you know what Shaz, they're amazing. The girls at the shop are amazing. Oh, I've got a bubble in that. I've just popped. <laughs> I've just popped the bubble on my finger. So I'm going to do my usual trick. These are brand new brushes, so I haven't used these before. So I'm going to take the oops. I'm going to take the paint out and just put some in the lid. These have been in the car. <laughs> Don't leave your paints in the car. <laughs> and don't shove it all over your finger. So we'll use the second one up. We'll use the second one up. Just so we can go off the page. Just trying to line it up so that it's 
relatively straight. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down. So we're going to stop. We're going to stop here and do a bit of a crescent. So let me just mix this up. These are new brushes, so I don't know how they're going to behave. But let's find out. So we're stippling. This is why I love grey. We might lose a few bristles because these brushes are new. Remember, scabby brushes are better. But they won't get scabby until I start using them. So we're stippling through with the darkest one, which is the Urban Stone. And I'm not filling in the whole thing. But I am trying to taper that up to the top. Let's see how that looks. Ah, oh, love it. I love it. And we'll do the same on the opposite corner. So just the circles half off. Doesn't have to be precise. This is just me being me. When I get a breather in a minute, I will read your comments. So I'm just stippling through. You'll notice I've carried on doing the dark one first so I'm not worried about going back in with a lighter one at the same time we can re realign the stencil and go in with the lighter one and this is why I like doing my lives you can see these a new look can you oops can you see the bristles if I just move they are look you can see the bristles are starting to get battered. And that's exactly what we want. Battered bristles. Love that. Love that. Hi, Rose, not to worry. Do you know what, Jean? That is a really good point. <laughs> you'll be able to have just missed. <laughs> Linda's put, oh, you'll be able to pop round and borrow a cup of sugar and a few dyes and a stencil or three. Oh, and a bag of chalky paste. <laughs> Can you imagine having me as a neighbour? Yeah, grey and lemon, Linda. Jean's just said, look, which is a really good point. She's put grey as a great tone because all pastels go with it. And that's absolutely true. Um, so we're just going to pop that to one side. That's dry already. And then we're going to do our border. But the border is going all the way across. So I'm just getting a little bit more paint. Oh, a little bit more paint out of there. This has been laying on its side in the car. That's really bad of me. So let's line this up, sort of. It doesn't have to be exact. But I am trying to get this somewhat central. And I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the whole thing on this. So I haven't taped the stencil down. I'm just, we're just going for it. And I can tell already that these bristles are starting to get battered, which is exactly what I want. Uh, I'm not going to do this on, on here, but remember you can, I'm doing, I'm stippling because I like the effects that stippling gives. You can absolutely, uh, where can I do it? If I just do it here, look, you can absolutely go all in. Let me just show you this. So if you want it more solid, you can absolutely go all in. Can you see that look? So you can fill the whole design in. I just like the effect of stippling. So stipple, 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 doesn't matter if we miss a bit because we're not trying to fill the whole thing in. We're just trying to stipple. It's a little bit softer as well when you do it this way. 
oh that's lovely let me just show you this before i move on to the other color i've used both brushes for the same paint now but it doesn't matter yep you can do it with a sponge julie julie's just saying um <laughs> linda i love gray but not on my head <laughs> <laughs> so let's just show you this so this is the one where i where i um ran the brush all the way through and the rest as you can see is where we've stippled i love that i love stencils i love what you can do with them so i'm gonna i am gonna keep one of these brushes for the dark gray which is this one but we're now going to go in with the lighter grey, which is which is the um, rain cloud. I'm just taking the lid off away from me so that I don't. You can see the difference, look. I'm just going to realign this as much as I can. I'm not worrying about it being perfect because it won't matter. And we're going in with rain cloud. So I'm just trying to get enough of the rain cloud on so that it covers up the urban stone. Oh, this is... I can tell already just looking at this how lovely these two colours are together. So we'll try and try and get a good mix of the two colours. So straight away, I mean if you saw the show I did with Leone, you'll 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 have heard what I said about all the mediums that I do. So all the paints and everything that I do are designed for us as card makers as opposed to... Oh, that is just so beautiful. Oh, I love this. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to stop and show you this. Let me show you these two shades of grey together. If I angle it, you should be able to see. There we go, look. So you can see the two different shades of grey. It looks, it looks fabulous. Love it, love it, love it. We're going to move back onto the background. I'm going to get a drink. Did not realise you could use the paints to stencil. Absolutely, Irene. And do you know what the good thing is? These paints are water-based. So literally, you can see how much paint I've got on this stencil. I could leave this for a week and then just chuck it in the sink with some soapy water and it would just wash straight off. Let me just get a drink before we carry on. Can you use your stencils to, to, to emboss with in a big shot? You can. Uh, Sue's just saying it's not particularly deep on the big shot, but it is on my Gemini. It is on my Gemini. Is this a chalk paint? Yes, Tracy. Um... I think Bev has posted some links throughout the live that take you to the chalk paints. So I've I've got them in sets of five. So this is the beauty of buying direct Tracy. I've got them in sets of five that I've put together. Or you can buy them individually and you can just collect a few at a time. I never did get a drink. Let me just get a drink. Day after tomorrow, so you're going to catch up on the shows. Yeah, I don't blame you. What's washing up, please? <laughs> Do you know what? I don't know whether you could put these in a dishwasher either. I've never tried it. <clears throat> this is my dishwasher. Let me just check everybody on YouTube. Sorry I'm late. You've had a nightmare day. Mine's been like that all weekend. The show was great. Made me giggle. Though. It was me, what, me and, uh, me and Leone... We were quite good. We were laughing at swear words. So you, hopefully, hopefully the mics were off. Uh, but in between the gap when they did the little, the little video thing. What do they call it? I forgot what they call it. Whatever it's called. Uh, me, me and Leone were laughing at silly words. <laughs> 
I've not seen her for ages. I've spoken to her, obviously, but I've not seen her for ages. So let's just go in again with the lighter one. These two colours together are lush. Absolutely beautiful together. Let's just see if I've done enough. Oh, that's beautiful. And then the other corner. If I can line it up, where were you, Phil? There you were. So we're just lining it up as well, as good as we can. You see, I'm taking the excess off on the kitchen roll. Anybody can do this. Anybody. Oh, that is just, I wish you could see this in real life. There you go, you can just, you can just make out the two shades. So you can see where we're going with this. Yeah, this is why, I, can you see what I've done, look? I've tried to extend it so it just comes out a little bit from the bottom of the uh, doodah. And now we're going to move on to the metallic silver. I haven't finished with those paints yet. In fact, well, let's do the flowers first. Let's do the flowers first. So there aren't that many flowers tonight. One big one and a couple of dinkies. One big one and a couple of dinkies. Oh, Joanne, I bet it looked, I bet it looked amazing. Hi, Linda. You must get these stencils because we're on the last legs of the stock, Linda. They've been on TV twice. And every time I take them on TV, we get a big boot, a big influx of sales on them. Uh, got a hospital to go to, leg not good. Oh, bless you. Sister, does your eye You've got the right idea. Jackie. Yeah, I saw, well, I didn't see her, but I saw it afterwards, so. And I, ironically, Leonie's had, I think it was at the studio, she's got it. Leonie's had these, the stand, the rack that I was looking at with Karen. Caught you live, working on my order from the virtual trade show. Oh, that's brilliant. As you watch, that's marvellous, Leslie. What time is it there, Leslie? It should be afternoon-ish. Uh, right, so moving on to the flowers. So we've got one large flower, which is going to be this one, layered up. So we're going to do the shades of grey. So these two are literally just two little individuals. We're going to move on to the shades of grey. So back to the brushes we've been using. And we will start in the same way with the uh, Urban Stone. Now hopefully you've seen the videos where I've done this before with flowers. But I love doing it. And what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to do a gradient... So we'll start with the Urban Stone, which is the darkest colour. Paint in the lid. Always put the paint in the lid. Uh, for two reasons. You're not wasting it then. Because it, it lasts for ages. So always put the paint in the lid and then just dab off the excess. So we're going to create a lovely gradient. We're going to start in the middle and work our way out. And this is why these paints are so amazing. Because we are going direct onto cardstock. And we're not losing. We're not going to get warped cardstock or anything. 
So darker in the middle, softer towards the edges. No skill required, it's just literally stippling. And we're going to, so this looks like concrete. I couldn't have named it anything better. So darker in the middle, softer towards the edge. And these four flowers that I'm doing now will make one flower. Actually, I might use that as a separate. Same with the dinky. Oops, if I can just get my fingernail on it. And I will bring this in. Look at the bristles coming off the brush. <laughs> Give me a month and this will be a this will be a scabby worn out brush. So I'll leave that brush to one side, put the lid on that paint, move on to the next one. We haven't done the silver yet, don't you worry. I haven't forgotten it. The silver transforms this look again. So now with the um, rain cloud, which is the softer grey, you can actually see the difference there, look, on the kitchen roll. And we're going to repeat that. This looks amazing. This looks so lush. Not quite 50 shades, but certainly a few. You can see I'm not trying to cover the whole cardstock. Let me bring this in and show you because you need to see how gorgeous this looks. Remember, this is just plain white cardstock. And if I, hopefully I can get really close on the camera. Can you see we've still got all our deboss dots? It looks incredible. It looks even better in real life. Oh, love it, love it, love it. I love it when I've got a technique and a product that I absolutely love. And that's what we've got here. So let's just do the same. Need a little bit more. There might be enough on there. <laughs> it's a good job it's silicon. <laughs> let's just do a little bit on here. A little bit on these. And a little bit on that one. And whilst we've got these paints out, we'll pop that to one side. Let that dry. It dries in minutes. So you don't even need to wait ages. So we've got two butterflies here. I've just got a bit in that one. These are from the original Beautiful Butterflies. And the reason I've chosen this one instead of the Shabby Butterflies is because if I bring this one in and show you, we've got debossed. We've got deboss dots on here as well, just on the edge. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, paint these butterflies as well. There should be enough left over. Oops, wrong paint. Just shake that up. That's been sitting for too long. Uh, we, we are going to do the same with the butterflies. There's probably enough paint on the brushes. So we're going to start in the middle. There's lots of dabbing. Sorry, everybody. Dab, 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 dab. So stronger in the middle. Softer as it gets further out. I mean, I've, I've been, most of you that have known me know that I've been crafting for donkey's years. I know I only look 20 on the photo, but I'm not. <laughs> Actually, I might have been 20 when we... I might have been 20 when we took that photo. <laughs> so, in the centre with the urban stone. Repeat with rain cloud and 
Oh, that's that's just so pretty. Who said grey is boring? They were wrong. So softer towards the edges. Look how pretty that looks with the two shades of grey on it. D-Boss loves D-Boss. You're absolutely <laughs> right, Gene. <laughs> right, let me get my breath. Oh, crack it's only 20 to 8. <clears throat> you need to do a non-shabby set of dragonflies. Mmm, like these, Emma. Well, who knows what else is coming. From 2011. Is it the same one, Emma? <laughs> <laughs> they were wrong ellie gray is absolutely gorgeous it's a very classy stylish color uh, yeah well below love urban stone absolutely who knows what's coming i i know what's coming but you don't right so we're now we've now progressed we're going to leave the tags um i'm going to leave the tags as they are because the sentiment is going on. But I'm, I, I might not need any more colour. So let's pop the butterflies out of the way. Pop the two chalk paints out of the way. And bring in the silver metallic. I love dragonflies as well, you know that I do. So get a drink, Phil. Mm. Grey and pink always looks nice. I'll tell you what else looks nice as well. Grey and peach always look nice. Um, Grey and aqua always looks nice. So we're going to... This is all now completely bone dry. So unlike inks where you have to wait for ages for it to dry. A couple of minutes on the paints. We're now going to bring the stencil back and we're going to move on to the metallic paint. And this is just the plain silver. Yeah. So, I mean, you can see, look, look how, look how gorgeous that silver is. So we're going to do, uh, we, I think we did this technique a couple of weeks ago where I did with copper. Uh, I did it with copper. We're now going to do this with silver. So silver obviously works really well with the greys. It's really warm in my room. I might have to put the fan on in a second. So we're going to realign the stencil. Don't worry if it's not perfect. It won't matter. And I need another brush. Let me just get another brush. Do, do, do. It's not like I haven't got enough because I bought five packs. Here we go. Look, this is me from... T this is my toolbox from Telly. Look, that's st <laughs> still got paint on it. Here we go. The rounded brushes are not usually good for this, everybody, by the way. You're better with a you're better with the flat. In fact, let me go and get one of the new ones. I'm not gonna use that. I am going to get one of my new packs. Bear with me. We are going to use one of the new packs. The flat brushes are better for this. Oops. Here we go. Moon dust. Yeah, moon dust is beautiful with grey because it's got that little tin. Can't believe you just said that, Mr. Perfection. Yeah. Do you know what, Jean? Uh, you, you obviously can't tell when I'm on TV, but... My side, I've got little flecks of grey. I don't actually mind grey. Eh? I've got little flecks of grey already. Silver fox. <laughs> so here we go. This card is really, really easy to do. So remember with the metallics... One thing I'm going to tell you about the metallic paints is um, 
when they've been sat for ages like mine has it, I needed to shake it up and they are quite fluid if they get too thick you can spray a bit of water in same with the chalky paints if the chalky paints have been sitting for ages um, and they've gone thick just spray a couple of spray a couple of mists of water into them and shake it up and leave it and that will fix that problem for you so now we're going to we're going to add some silver highlights so i'm not doing loads because i don't want to cover up all these beautiful shades of gray we are just going to do you can see how little i'm using with the silver the metallics are super strong i can see this already and it looks incredible let's just see if i've done enough oh that is amazing I'll just do a little bit on here oh i'm not going to show you yet i'm going to wait till i've done the other side So same on the other side, line it up as well as you can, take off the excess, that was too much, I think this is why I, I, you'll see me do this a lot because most of us as card makers at one point or another would shy away from paints and stencils so i'm trying to show you how oh that is just so beautiful here we go along so we've got two shades of gold going on uh, two shades of gold two shades of gray and now we have the accents with the silver metallic. How beautiful is that? And it's so delicate and soft in the background. So let me repeat on here. You know, we've got, oops, we've got to have a coordinated look. So I'm just lining up. It's not held because the card's not straight. <laughs> so a little bit more. Oops, two didn't take the excess off. Don't worry, it's all texture. And it gives it a lovely, like a three, almost a 3D almost a 3d effect because we've got the glimmer on the top layer oh that's just beautiful look at that how beautiful is that and it's so easy to do you've literally watched me in front of your eyes hi vicky That's a good shot, that. So that is that. That is that. And you know what's coming next. To complete the look. We've got to do the flowers and the um, doodah. Butterflies. So we, we could at this stage, if you wanted to, I'm not going to do this tonight. Um, just back from Pilates. It's good timing. <laughs> Sorry, Wendy. <laughs> you've, you've got to have the three shades of, you've got to have the three shades of grey. You've got to, it's, it's a must. And if you remember when I first released the second series of the chalky paints, um, greys are really hard to do. So let's now finish with the flowers. 
So I think I must have squirted water in my silver paint at some point because it's quite fluid, look. Can you see it's quite fluid? But it is clearly not affected the oops, it's clearly not affected the uh sparkle. So let's do the let's do the uh flowers as well. Too wet. This looks gorgeous. It's almost like doing patina in reverse. Can we? I don't know whether Karen's still watching uh, or Bev. Can one of you just pop the links on for me, please, for everybody for the paints again, the chalky and the metal and the metallic because they're in different categories, and then the stencils, please. Because if you have, if there are some of the stencils you haven't got, you need to be getting them pretty soon. We'll be moving on to new ones soon. Wait till I show you these flowers. So I've done exactly the same thing. All I do, as I get towards the edge of the petal, I stop because I like the white tips. But I just get softer with the dabbing. And then the butterflies. And after I've done this, I'm just going to sit with you for a few minutes and drink my coffee because I feel a little bit faint, which is strange. So here we go. Oh, this looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at these. They look amazing. So let's just show you. Try and wiggle them and show you. How about that? So we've still got the two shades of grey. You can clearly see the two different shades of grey. But we've got that beautiful... I think it is, Linda. I'm going to put the fan on. In fact, let me put my fan on just for a minute. Let's just put my fan on. The fan is on. The fan is on, so hopefully. <laughs> the fan is on. <laughs> Do you know what I'm going to do while well, we've got the silver paint there? We're just going to paint these two little sprigs. Let's just have a little touch of silver, little extra touch. Even the stencil looks pretty, look. <laughs> Whilst we've got the silver paint out, let's just paint these little sprigs who needs my record okay so you'll notice I've been very naughty and I haven't put my brushes in water at all yet and I've done that on purpose because I'm fine, I'm fine. It's just probably too warm in here. Uh, so these are brand new brushes, so I've purposefully not put them in water to clean them. I'm going to leave them to go dry. You don't need to do this, everybody. <laughs> I'm going to leave them to go dry and then clean them. So these are all dry now. Except for the sprigs. So let's clean up. And let's get this card put together. I'm going to try and finish a bit quicker than normal. Oh, get a drink, Phil.
There we go. Oh, before I forget, I'll remind you all about Thursday night. Plant the stencil face down, rub it on the back and see what transfers. Shall we do that, Alison? Shall we do it? Let me see if I can find a little bit of scrap. I'll do Leone's trick and we'll squirt, we'll squirt the stencil with water. We, we don't, Linda, these little brushes, everybody, these little brushes are just from Amazon. Uh, just just put Royal Royal Langnickel stencil uh, stencil brushes. They were about three. They were only about three quid. So I'm gonna spray some water on that, and we'll do a Leone. And you know I would never normally do this. Do you know what? She might have converted me. <laughs> look at this, look at this bonus we're getting from this. I'm glad I thought of this. <laughs> and looking at how much paint is still left on, I reckon I could do a couple more. <laughs> How about that? We did a Leone, too much water, but we've got a lovely background. You're frozen on YouTube. Oh, I'm still here. It's fine for me. Oh, yeah, I can see YouTube is fine for me. I've not frozen, it's fine for me. Anyway, let's get this card put together because I think I need to eat again. So all these layers are dry. We're just gonna pop these layers flat and then do a couple on foam tape. So this, this is why I always call it clean and simple-ish because it's not true clean and simple, but it is clean and simple-ish. The bend in the mat is not helping. So let's pop the foam tape on. My signal's all right, so I don't know what that is. Here we go. I think, oops, that was a bit stretchy. I might change the cameras next week and not use the, and not use the iPad. I might, I might go old school and use the two, um, use the two HD webcams that I bought ages ago. Are we back to normal? So this is our little seven by seven look. This is why I love the DL stencils. Thank you, Jean. This is why I love the little DL stencils because they're not, you don't have to use them straight up and down or left and right. I've just used them to create small corners. And I'm going to be do you know what? Let's just see how it looks. Let's just see how it looks. So this is the 7x7. Seven seven. Now you know what I'm going to do, don't you? You know exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> because I can't help myself. What I think we'll do is, um, 
I think I'll give this card away in the Facebook group if somebody reminds me tomorrow. Because I'm rubbish at taking photos. If somebody reminds me in the group tomorrow, when I get time, we'll do a little giveaway for this card. Now you won't get it, you won't get it for a week or two till I'm at the shop. Because it needs to be sent from the shop. But I think we'll do that. <laughs> it's true, Brenda. Linda says 7x7 seven seven is just the right size for her. But I like a big one. so naughty well no just Brenda is so we're on the <laughs> we're on the second we're on the second reel of foam tape but that was only halfway through oh hi Helen I didn't see you sneaking this foam tape is very stringy Oops. Here we go. Anyway, so while I'm just sticking the foam tape on, did we enjoy last Thursday night? If I give it away, does that mean you don't need to take a photo? No, I'll take a photo so I can do the, the Facebook post in the group, so... And I think we'll just do we'll just do it for a few days, let people leave a comment, and then I'll do the usual thing with the mouse and choose a random winner. Because I collect these cards, I've got so many. Here we go, we are nearly done. Yeah, you loved last Thursday, so did I. Um in fact, well I even I even messaged you all afterwards. Now that's a Phil Martin card. <laughs> yeah, we've got we've got another. I hope you've not spent up. We've got another fabulous uh, bundle for Thursday night. Get ready for it. So a one hour frenzy. Right. So just I'm just going to pop this to one side. And bring in my foam mat. So that we can shape these flowers and everything. It's only five past eight. Get a drink, Phil. Have a breather, Phil. I did. I really enjoyed Thursday night. So for those of you that weren't... Uh, for those of you that don't know... <coughs> I'm going to drink my coffee. For those of you that don't know, in our little Facebook group on Thursday evenings at 7pm, we are doing a happy hour, a happy hour live demo with me and a special bundle that is only available for an hour. Well, an hour and 15. So if you haven't joined our group, you can uh, search for it on Facebook there. Look, Crafting with Phil Martin and Sentimentally Yours. Right, flowers. So I'm gonna shave these my usual way, which is with the ball tool. You don't have to, and I really didn't get time to show you half of the things you can do with these dies, because they look different. Um, they look different if you shape them in different ways. So what I did on most of my demos was this. But let me just show you what they look like if you point them up as well. I really didn't get time to show you. In fact, let's do it tonight. Let's do it for a change. Let's point them up. So I'm curling them back. And then I'm pointing them up. So already this flower looks different. Already this flower looks different to this one because we've pointed the petals. 
So let's have a different look for tonight. You can see how much this mat's been used. It's covered in glue. Carol, your bundle is being delivered tomorrow. That's marvellous. I can't wait to see what you all make with the new dies. So I'm just point these up. So I'm curling them back and then I'm pointing the petals. You've seen me do this before with other flower dyes. But curling them back gives them a little bit of a different shape. I don't think I'll be able to curl back these. So they're just going to be shaped. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty. Let's do it tonight. Now I'm singing Victor. Oh, I loved Victoria Wood. I absolutely loved Victoria Wood. Linda says, I love the fact that you get reward points for purchasing on the website, Linda. Oh, sorry, Ellie. <laughs> yep, you get your reward points. You get loyalty points on the website. So we're doing the double. And a double with this one. staying single this one's going in there oh, I love that I love that hang on it's twisted that's it so just let the glue grab oh so different and then pearls. So who knew I could make a card with three flowers on? <laughs> but it's true. So we're doing the usual trick. More glue in the centre than is required. Then a couple of pearls. Have we got three ml? I have somewhere, I just saw one. So pick up tool for Sue. So more glue in the centre than is required. I'm just trying to find a three mil. And you'll notice I've used silver, silver star pearls. So the silver star pearls are obviously going to highlight the, they're going to highlight the, um, the silver paint. So I'm going to push that down with my tweezers. So we've got more glue oozing out the sides than we need. And this is going to get dunked in the diamond dazzle. Look, obviously when that dries, it's just going to be glittered. Oh, 
last one. Oh, it's so lovely. You know, when you make a card, you all know this, when you make a card and you think, oh, that's just too pretty. That's what this card is going to be tonight. So let's just shake the leaves. These are the new leaves. So we've got just two with the debossing. I'm not glittering the leaves. We've got two solid ones. Uh, two of the open ones. Just battered that poor leaf. And then we've got our little tags. So we need to pop a sentiment on this tag. And do you know what? I might deviate from my original plan. So let's get the border on first when I find it. When I find it, here we go. So this is just going on flat and I like, I like the plain edges so that's a little tip for you all. The plain edges make the stencil pop out, make it pop a little bit more. And that will go on foam tape. It was not very well. Oh, Chrissy, what have I missed? <laughs> Ellie's put, so pretty, it doesn't get given away. I've got a box full like that. Most are from the workshops. <laughs> oh, bless you. Chrissy, what have I missed? You need the chalk and shimmery paints. You absolutely do, Ellie. They'll transform your crafting. Will your pearls and gems be on offer again? I honestly don't know, Lee. Karen's the one to ask. Oh, is Chrissy... Oh, bless her, Jean. If you message Chrissy, tell her we're thinking of her. Oh, do you know what? I should have... I should have sent Chrissy a card for when she gets home. In fact, I'm going to do that. Oh, incidentally, everybody, before I forget to tell you, I think there's going to be, I think the next online workshop, the next online workshop is going to be at the end of, at the end of February. So I'm going in the centre with this. Just make sure it's straight. It is. It is straight. And then we need to stamp our sentiment. So I've chosen Morning Mist. Morning Mist versus Fine Claire. Pearls are already on the website, Karen says. Uh, morning mist, and we'll find a little sentiment to fit on that stamp set. So, incidentally, let's have a look. Let's have a wish for you. A wish for you. because it will fit nicely in the bottom of this tag. I don't need my uh, stamping platform for this. Ooh. I'm just going to have a breather. Ooh. Oh, bless her. 
Well, we've we've got Chris's address, so we'll send her a card. Um, we'll send her a card and sign it from us all. YouTube seems to be back to normal now, so that's good. That's good. Someone on Facebook is suggesting we sell kits to make the cars filled as on his lives. Oh. What a cracking idea. <laughs> Kathleen. <laughs> oh, sorry, everybody. I'm just reading back on the comments on YouTube and Kathleen's put up. Kathleen's put... Now we're singing Victoria Woods song, Bend Me Over Backwards on my hostess Charlie. <laughs> oh, I absolutely loved Victoria Wood. Right, so here we go. Let's get this sentiment stamp. So Morning Mist is just a lovely shade of grey, which keeps in keeps us in line with the, um, the elegant shades of grey. So this tag is going to sit in that orientation. So my sentiment is going to sit just there. <laughs> Kathleen. <laughs> oh, that's made me chuckle. Bend me over backwards on my hostess trolley. <laughs> <laughs> I've got that little sentiment just there, look. <laughs> See, this is why I love doing the lives with you all. We have such a good time. I love the workshops before you... Oh, that's good timing then for you, Emma. So, incidentally, just going, just going back to the online workshop. Yeah, so did I, Jackie. So did I. Um, so, um, just going back to the online workshop. I, we will send Chrissy a card, everybody. Now, just I'll, I'll sign it from us all. Um, yeah, just going back to the online workshop thing. So the it'll be the last Sunday in February. I've got no idea what day that is. Now, for the for the people who were on the last online workshop, um, I'll put I'll post in our workshop group in the morning sometime, because some of you gave me an idea of something you wanted to do, so I just want to check that you are happy with that before we plan it. So here we go. So the tags are going on first, and I'm going to stick these two tags together. Just like, just like that. So the tags are going on flat. You'll notice we've only got glitter on one piece. So the only glitter on this card is this, this layer and in the center of the flowers. How pretty that looks, kinked up like that. How beautiful is that? It's like a star. So time for the old glue gel. Oops, I think I need a new, I think I need a new cocktail stick. 25th of February, just under three weeks time. That's not long then, is it? Thank you, Elaine. I think most of you know me well enough to know. Um, trust the process. I'm usually, I usually have a good plan. So with glue gel, glue gel now for everything else that's going on. So I'm using glue gel for the tag, but I am going to squash it down a little bit. So let's have the tag about there. The big flower obviously is gonna go here. Oh, I love 
this. Can you, I don't know whether you can see from the camera. Can you see, look, you can still see all the deboss dots in there. It looks amazing. Hopefully you can. So the big tag, uh, the big flower is going to go there. I'm just changing it skew iffy. I like the flowers skew iffy. And now we're going to pop on the foliage. So uh, for those of you that didn't see me do this when I did the launch the sneaky peek video when i designed these leaves this is why i designed them the way i have so we can literally took one under there one under there and we've covered we've covered a full area so i'm just going to pop a little bit more glue gel underneath oops i nearly did it the wrong way around i want this one here And this one is going to go next to it. You can always tell when a crafter has designed craft products because they just make sense. They just make sense. So this one's going to go under here. And I'm just going to show you all. I'm sure you know this because you know me well enough to know. But can you see, look now, because we've used the double, the double frond leaves, we've actually created a perfect, it is, it's perfect. We've created a perfect follow through. So we've got the three, the two, the two and the three. And it just makes it so much easier. And then we've got the little sprigs to tuck in. So the little sprigs are obviously going on a little bit more glue gel because you have to. Oops, it's a good job I've got my jammers on. <laughs> so we're going to have one under here. the other side so they're going in the space look it's almost like I knew what I was doing almost so the little sprigs the little sprigs have gone in the gap between the three and the two and the two and the three Okay, so we've got the butterflies. I might only put one on. I don't know whether I need to because they are a bit bigger. So let's see if any is one is better than the other. No, they're both beautiful. A little bit of paint. A little bit of paint completely transforms the look of your card. Yeah, one is enough. One is enough. So I'm popping the butterfly on first. And you all know that I like my butterflies pop tapering off the page. so gorgeous oh thank you Julie and it's funny isn't it because you wouldn't you wouldn't instinctively go for grey tones uh, yeah I know Linda I said the same about flakes a few weeks ago Thank you, Diane. Diane agrees it looks better on a larger card. 
Diane's now at the top of the list. So let's just get these two little bonus flowers on. And hopefully you know where these are going. If not, you will in a second. So I've got one going there. And that one going right next to it. Details. Details. So these two, I left these two leaves last on purpose. And that's another, oops, that's another little tip for you all. Oh, I'm dropping everything. You should have sent me a Twix, Linda. I could do with a sugar rush right now. <laughs> so these two little, these two little ones I've left till the end. So that I could see where I needed to put them. And I know where they're going already. I already know where they're going. This one f first. So I've got one going under there. And one under the other side. Sorry, butterfly. Now, obviously, you're not going to be... You're not going to be posting this in... <laughs> Are you surprised? Oh, thank you, Edna. Oh, thank you, Jan. You, what, you know what? Stencils are one of the best products ever for versatility and value for money. Look how we've done this. So remember I said to you, when I tapered it down, I took it to just over halfway. So this little, this little bit here and there, it just carries the design on. So you all know what's coming next. A couple of random silver pearls. Now I'm going to leave, I'm definitely going to leave these back layers plain. So I'm not putting the, the pearls in the four corners. We're just going to have a couple of random silver pearls. And I'll have one there. And I will sign this and give it away to somebody in our Facebook group. Uh, what day is it today? Monday. So let's leave it and if we'll, once I've done the photo, we'll leave it for a couple of days for everybody to have time to comment. And then we'll choose a random, a random name. And we are done. So who would have thought that all that embellished, all that decorating, all the colour on this card is from Three Little Paints? Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? So let's do a little close up for you all. Let me get a drink first. And do you know what? How different that looks to the original die as well. You need when you get your when you get your dies home, you need to have a play with different shapes and, and bending in different directions because you get a different look every time. So let's do a little close up. So you can see all the details. So we've got the lovely shimmer on top of the two shades of grey paint. And it's just enough, look. It's just enough to make it very elegant and stylish. 
and this is a Phil Martin card. How beautiful is that? So I'm, I'm just going to give you all a quick reminder. If you haven't... Look how that's turned out, look. Even that's turned out nice from the waist. That'd make a lovely DL background. Oh, come on, I can't stretch that far. Oh, I'm talking to myself. Stencils, you need to be sharpish. So if you've been collecting the stencils and you're missing any, you need to be quite sharpish. The new flower dies. So for those of you that haven't got them yet, the new flower dies. Where are they? There they are. So the new flower dies and foliage dies. So they've almost gone on TV. I was surprised they didn't sell out as quick as they did, but it was a big stock. But I I know they've nearly gone from TV, yeah? Um, and our stock is, well, it's not gonna last. So you've been forewarned. You've been forewarned. So, what shall we do for the giveaway? Do, 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 do. What am I allowed to give away? Karen, are you still watching? Oh, thanks, Bev. Isn't it pretty? I can't take credit for this design either. This layout is one of Karen's. Thursday night is going to be an absolute belter, Jackie, of a bargain. Please send some stencils. Please send my pub. <laughs> Are you going to Port Sunlight, Sandra? We'll be there as well. I'm looking forward to it. It's the first show we've done for ages. Grey is, um, gray is an amazing colour for like Jean says, you can mix it with everything. Um, butterfly paints, paints, butterfly. I don't know whether we've got enough paints. This is why I'm asking Karen, but I don't know whether she's still watching. Bear with me a say. Oh, yeah, she's here, but she's on YouTube. The two grey paints. So she said the two grey paints. So I can do two of them, but not three. So we'll give away two of the, the two grey paints. A bit of a the two grey paints that I've used tonight. So, somebody on YouTube and somebody on Facebook. I'll do all my usual spiel before I do that, before I do the giveaway. Let's just put that nicely so you can see it. There you go. So, for those of you that haven't, please do give us a follow on Facebook. So, Sentimentally Yours. And also the shop, which is Honeypot Crafts. And also my page, which is Phil Crafty Martin. You will find me on Instagram, although it's generally Karen that posts there now because I always forget. Phil M. Martin. And on TikTok, which I keep forgetting, but I might do this for to I might do this for TikTok tomorrow. Phil M. Martin. And obviously on X. Phil M. Martin, what a shocker. And for those of you that haven't yet, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Crafting with Phil Martin. And we are live every Monday, as long as I'm not away. And I've just seen a new feature that's been added to my software, just on my iPad over there. So I might try that next week. So for if you do win, you know the drill, send me your name and address and a little reminder of what you've won to the Sentimentally Yours Facebook page. So over to YouTube first. So good luck, everybody. I can't win myself, <laughs> which is a shame. <laughs> Design team, I'm sorry, you can't win either. <laughs> so I've gone all the way to the top of the comments on YouTube. Scroll, scroll, scroll. You can probably hear the mouse clicking. Click, click, click. And the winner on YouTube is Joan Peak. So my mouth, my mouth, my mouse has stopped on your name, Joan. 
I'm pretty sure we've got your name and address already, your address already, Joan, but please just send us a message uh, on the Sentimentally Yours Facebook page and we'll get those off to you as soon as possible. So congratulations, Joan. So over to, I have Linda. In fact, I've got three of the new dies. Um, I've actually had three, I've actually had three sets of these so I can cut more out at a time. <laughs> So over to Facebook. So good luck everybody on Facebook. I'm going to get something to eat after this. So good luck everybody. Scroll, scroll, scroll. So the winner on Facebook is Judith McDowell. So congratulations, Judith. The mouse has stopped on your name. So uh, just drop us a message on the Sentimentally Yours Facebook page with your name, address, and a little reminder of what you have won. I will take a photograph of this either tomorrow or the day after, and I will sign it and give it away in our Facebook group probably over the weekend. So thank you, everybody. I've thoroughly enjoyed tonight. Don't miss out on the new dies and definitely don't miss out on the stencils because they've, they've already sold loads. So enjoy the rest of your evening, everybody, and I will catch up with you all in our Facebook group. Thanks a lot. Bye.